All right, so this just came in the mail. So it's the Swift Net. All right, I'm gonna see if I can show this unboxing. So they actually sealed it with three pieces of tape. When I got it, actually most of the pieces of tape were already broken. There's this little tab here. All right, so you just pull this up like that. We're gonna rotate it this way. So it opens up like that. Okay, so once you get that, you have these straps, you can pull it out. Hopefully you guys will be able to see everything here. I'm just gonna toss that box aside. Um, there is a uh, barcode here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it says Swift Net Portable Pickleball Net 2.1. So, uh, yeah, this is the SwiftNet 2.1, all right? So we're gonna set that aside. So I haven't actually opened this and taken it apart yet, so let's go ahead and open this up. Hopefully everything will be visible in camera. Let me check real quick. All right, so, yep, all right. Sorry, you're gonna be seeing my feet a lot here. <clears throat> okay, so it came wrapped like this. I haven't taken it out yet. I was about to, and then it seemed like a lot of work at the park to get it started. So anyways, you have these Velcro straps, it seems, so you pull those out. Um, the bag actually has a little pocket here, so you can put stuff in it. Um, Uh-oh, the zipper looks like it got messed up. Oh, let's open it. Okay. So I had to put the zipper all the way the other way. Somehow it was already halfway open, but there we go. So. You can store things in here. I guess um, you can put your phone and things when you go to play pickleball. Put your phone and wallet so you have somewhere to store it. Okay, came with this installation instructions. I might have to do a close-up of this later. Um, they got pictures and everything. So let me actually go through this, what's in here, and then we'll go through the instructions. I'll take the camera down. So you got this Ziploc bag. Okay, let's open it up. So you got this, and this is the base, I believe, for the center post. Um, you got this metal round piece. Again, we're gonna go over the instructions later. So actually it says here, post mount kit. So you got, these are all post mount kits, I'm sure, yep. So you got four of those, or no, riser feet. So you got a riser feet, so there's two packs of two, and then you got this um, nice hex key to tighten everything up. All right, so here you got the feet. So these are these are pretty heavy. I weighed the whole package. It was like a little over 19 pounds. Um, that was with the box and everything. So I think once you take all this out, they said it's about 15 pounds. So here you go. These feet are pretty heavy and it has these rubber feet already on it, so we'll see what the riser feet are for. Okay, of course there's two of those side ones. Then you got one bag with the entire, entire carbon fiber set. So this is light compared to the metal poles on the other one, at least to me it feels that way. But I felt like the, what do you call, the, the entire package felt heavier, though I did like the length of this strap because it has this right one, the bottom of this bag goes down to like my hand. So it's easy to like um, put my hand underneath while I'm carrying it. Um, and I probably should have measured this if you're wondering, not that the box matters, but the box is about 40 inches that way, all right? 40 inches and then it's about seven inches that and seven okay so it's 40 40 long and then it's a seven by seven square if that matters at all um, this bag is a little bit smaller 38 ish and then the width it really depends how you squish it but about eight wait what eight inches okay so because this allows it to open up bigger um, it's actually about an eight inch bag, but they, it kind of squishes in when it's stored in the box or when it came in the box. All right. Then we got the net here. Okay. So it comes like that. This thing is just tied shut. So it's not like sealed or anything. You can easily untie it and retie it. If for some reason you wanted to put everything in the plastic baggies and keep it super nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're going to be running around, people are going to trip over it and it's going to get scuffed up. So 
there's no point keeping it completely nice. Here you go, boom stand and hardware kit that was with the bag with all the stuff in it. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else in this bag. It looks like that's it. Um, there's a random green string, stray string here. I don't know what that is. Um, I'll probably just snip that off. Everything else, the stitching looks nice. Um, the center of the bag has this, I don't know what that, to hold, I guess to hide the, the split of the rubber piece. It looks like black duct tape, but hopefully it's not duct tape because duct tape I know doesn't hold up over time. Uh, but we'll see. It, everything looks good here. We'll toss that aside. Okay, and now we're going to go over this instruction. So I'm going to take the camera down and I'll do a close up to show you guys all this instructions. All right, let's do that. All right, so here you go. Composite Recycling Technology Center. Warranty registration. So SwiftNet uh, installation instructions 2.1. All right. Let me actually read over this real quick so that way I can just show like um, clips of this and then you can read it over on your own. Anything important then I'll just kind of um, do it in the ins installation but and I'll bring it up. All right, so let me read over this real quick and I'll be back. All right, so here are the instructions. You can pause any time to read it. it. Tells you what comes in the bag. All right, so we're gonna, they show how to assemble and disassemble it. Okay, it shows you all the different parts here. Sorry about the flash. No. The bag, remove all the stuff. Here you go. They tell you how to set up the feet first. All right. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna have to show this on a different day, but I'll just merge the video together so that you guys can see it all as one video because it is raining for the next week. So roll it. You can see. All right. Again, you can pause to read it. Um, but I will be showing the assembly process, or I'll try to when it's drier out. Wait, did I just, oh, I just showed that part. Okay, I think I showed this part, but just in case. Okay, sorry about that. If I showed the page, same page twice. Okay, one of the main things are you put the pole in with the um, cables untensioned, right? You don't want the cables to be pulled when you do this. Um, and they also have this so you can adjust the height exactly to the, what do you call it? Like the actual standards. All right. But uh, it's very important that you put the the boom rod stick, whatever you want to call it, the f um, carbon fiber poles. You want to make sure to put those when the strings are loose because you don't want to have it tensioned while you're trying to force it in or you could get injured. Right. So here they tell you how to disassemble. You want to be careful not to twist the cords. And again, I'm going to be showing how to assemble this thing later. Right now, I'm just unpacking it. Um, I will actually show how to pack it up after I take all, take it out of the plastic bag. Here it shows the spare parts, and if you're going to repair it, they tell you what type of adhesive to use. Okay, at least for the plastic parts, and I think that was it. Hopefully I got every page in there. Um, oh, there's the warranty stuff again. So here they tell you what's not covered under warranty, so normal wear and tear. The cords will get worn out over time, so they don't cover that. They tell you how to get replacements. 
All right, don't leave it permanently outdoor. And I think that's everything. Hopefully I didn't skip any pages. I didn't know this, but apparently um, the company that makes this, the recycling company, they're a non-profit organization. So, um, yeah, I didn't know that. That's kind of interesting. But, um, yep. Uh, now I'm going to unpack everything and I'll set up the legs and stuff. And, yep, yeah, let me get that all set up and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so let's get this set up. So we have both these feet and they are exactly the same. So when you attach these um, pieces here, these post mounts, um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, but for me, because I kind of like things to look equal, I'm gonna put one this way and one this way. So that way when you look at it, you're gonna have like no matter which side you're standing on, you'll have one of these um, there. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and take these out of the plastic packaging. Just slide that off, okay. Um, the rubber feet, they have the larger rubber feet, which you don't need them. The larger rubber feet are if, you, if the height of the net is shorter than you want it to be. So they actually, to do the official height and everything, um, they have taller feet in case these are too short. Um, I'm not sure why it wouldn't already be the right height with the ones they put on there. Maybe over time somebody like stepped on this or something and it kind of flexed it in down and then you would want it to be a little taller. But I don't know because I haven't set it up yet. Um, but I'll do that when it's a dry day not raining anymore. All right. So anyways, we're going to set this up. Okay, let's take this off. All right, so we got all that plastic stuff out. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna unpackage these. Okay. They're just Ziploc bags. You know how to unbox, unbag Ziploc bags. All right, so now we're gonna take these off. Um, you can use the tool to make it easier. It comes with that hex key, but basically we're just gonna take this off of here. Okay, I am going to have to look over the instructions again to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, I don't know why they make this... Oh yeah, okay, it does have that hex thing that's going to go on. So I think we're supposed to take all three of these pieces out. Okay, so they have the nut bolt or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the proper name is. And then that, and then we have this piece here. So we're going to take that out on both of them. They should be exactly the same. All right, let me go over the instructions again, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Let me actually zoom in to make this easier to see. Again, since I want these both facing that way, um, these are actually the net release things. So when you push this, it releases. As you can see, it's spring. Actually, let me zoom in here to make it a little bit better quality because right now it's set to... Oh. I guess that's fine. Um, so here you can see when you push on this, it springs inwards. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right. So that's what that does. Okay. And let's go ahead and zoom back out one times. Okay. And what you want is you want these facing sideways like that. Okay. So here you can see. And again, because I'm making these opposite. Hmm. It's not as parallel as I was thinking it would be. So it's slightly like twisted a little. I don't know if you can tell. But again, because I want them opposite, I'm gonna put one that way and one this way. So as you can see, if I rotate this now, actually that's wrong. <laughs> huh, so if you put them both the same way, oh yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. So if you put them both the, facing the same way, then when you go to put the nets, it's gonna be like that. So let me actually take a look, um, but uh, basically you'll have it this way, and then you'll have this black piece under here, okay, just like that, you'll get the washer as well, and then we'll tighten this bolt in. You can actually, it looks like you can actually tighten this by hand, but we are going to use the tool to make sure it's nice and tight, okay, so let me get that, so we have this other Ziploc bag, alright, with the Allen wrench. 
take that out and you got this. All right, so we're gonna hold this upside down and then you can start using this side just to do it quicker. And then once you get it in enough, you're gonna use this side to make sure it's nice and tight. All right, so actually these bolts are pretty tough to turn, so. All right, I like to make sure these washers are centered. All right. You don't have to be as exact. It's not really that important, but there you go. And then we're going to tighten that up. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to hold this side down here and tighten that up. All right. Just to make sure it's nice and tight and not going anywhere. I'm left-handed, so it's a little awkward doing it this way. But I guess I can also do it this way and push it down instead. There we go. All right, so we got that. We're gonna do the same thing with the other one. All right, let me zoom in this time so you guys can get a better view of what's going on. That, okay, there's another little barcode thing there, but we'll get this on. All right, same thing, get the washer in. Also, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a flat side of the washer and a slightly rounded side. I always like to have the flat side going against the surface and the round side facing up, but Again, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm just weird like that. All right. So this bolt is a lot more loose. It was easier to tighten by hand. I don't know why the other one was so much more difficult. But um, yeah. So let's go ahead and tighten this in all the way. All right. So this one, I'm just going to tighten it like that. Okay. Do the same thing. Get the thing back in. Hold the left side down and then tighten this up. Okay, so there we go. We got both of them done. Let's zoom back out. So now we got both and they're both facing towards the center. And again, I have the stickers on opposite sides. So when you set it up, if you want, you can make them both opposite directions. So right now they're exactly the same way, this way. But again, if you if you like having the labels on one side and no labels on the other, you can do it that way too. Anyways, let's get this out of the way. We're going to go over some more instructions and yep, we'll go on to the next part. See you guys in a bit. All right, so now they say to unroll the netting. Right now it's packed in like this. So yeah, and I like to try and keep the packaging if I can. So I'm going to try and untie this. All right, just in case anything's wrong and I need to return it or something. All right, so I'm just twisting this to make it smaller and then pushing it through the knot. All right. There we go. Now we got this out. Okay, I'm just going to untie this whole, unravel that and then get that out. All right, now let's get the net out of the bag. Okay, it has the post in here as well. It's getting caught on the plastic bag. Okay, so we're gonna unwrap it like that. I'm gonna move the feet a little further out of my way. Um, we're not gonna be setting up the whole thing right now. You guys will see that later. All right, looks like they tied little bows on here, so you just untie that and get that off. Um, we don't need all this packaging, so. Okay. Um, they mentioned that the Velcro straps are to tie the legs down so that they don't move around in the bag and then damage the other components. That's what it's for. Um, it does say like it's optional, so I guess they're not too worried it will damage it, but they kind of just add it there to as a little precaution. Hopefully make it last a little bit longer. All right, so the way they have the net here, I don't know if you guys see this, um, but it's not rolled up. They had two methods for um, packing up the net. One is like rolling it up and the other one is um, like folding it in like a fan. So I guess they use the fan method. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm kind of confused. So let's go ahead and see here. Oh, okay. So it kind of folds open like this. Okay, let me zoom out even more. I don't know how far I can zoom out here, but uh, all right, got all this junk here. Let's throw that out of the way. Got the other rubber feet that we don't need. So, hmm, how is this folded? 
that's so weird. Okay, I, I don't know. My brain is not understanding what, what is going on here. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get how this was folded. Um, so let's see. We got this one. It's like twisted folded. That's kind of weird. Alright, so we got that. I'm probably just going to end up rolling it back up in the end. But uh, they were saying like something about 45 degrees, which it looks like that's what they did. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, anyways, I'm going to just unroll this thing. And yeah, the net's a mess. I don't know. That's, that's confusing. I don't know. My brain can't figure out how they folded it like that. But, uh, okay. Okay. So, I don't know. This part's kind of twisted up. Okay, I think it's just folded the way I think, where they kind of just folded, like, layer over layer. Um, alright. Let me go over the instructions some more, and then I'll be back. Alright, so this part I'm probably going to have to wait till I'm outside, but I'm going to show a few things how this works. So here you can see this post. Let me actually zoom in a bit here for you guys. Alright, I don't know what kind of zoom it's on. Let's set it to 1. Alright, so you can see at the bottom of the net post, they have this little square hole, and this is how it kind of latches here. This design is actually really nice and easy to do. So here you can see, if you were to just slide this down, you could force it down and it will click into place. But I kind of like to squeeze this in, slide it over, and then here you can see it locks in. It doesn't twist around or anything, and it's very easy to remove. Just push that, and then you can go ahead and slide that back out. Alright, so we're not going to be setting this up today again. I'm going to wait till it's not raining so I can set this up outside. I will probably do, um, I will probably show putting it in the bag. Um, you got this, so this post, you want to completely loosen it, so they actually tuck this into the end of the net to keep this out of the way when you play, alright? And when you go to um, set it up, first thing you want to do is pull this cord all the way straight up, and then you can actually loosen this all the way. So you want to loosen this cord here, alright? You want to pull all this excess cord out here and have this as long as possible. That way when you go to put in the boom or the pole that goes across the net, um, you won't damage it. And then when you go to uh, pull the net back down, um, they tell you you want to pull it straight down this way, all right? You don't want to run it across the teeth. So in here, there are, I don't know if you can even see that, but in here there are little teeth that hold that into place. So they tell you to actually run it, um, pull it straight down to run it through. Um, the teeth are facing one way, so that way when the string goes out, it, it catches because it like catches this way. All right, and that's how it works. So when you pull it this way, it, it's not, the teeth aren't going to damage the rope much. So that's why they want you to pull it straight down, because when you pull it straight down, the rope will go this way, and then after it passes the teeth, it goes down this way. If you pull it straight um, or slightly up, then the edges of the teeth here will kind of like cut into the side of the rope. Or you don't want to pull it up this way either, because then the sharp edges where the rope comes out of can cut the... Um, cut the rope because it will be under tension okay so again when you go to first set it up you want to pull this up and then you want to let out the excess all right and you don't want this to be down when you're doing that because then it gets caught in the teeth all right so you want it to be up like this when you release the tension uh, to initially set up the thing all right and then, again, if you want, if there's no tension, if the rod isn't in here, you can just pull it straight up. But if the rod is in there and it's um, flexing that rod, you can actually damage this rope. They do sell, again, um, spares of this if you do happen to break this. So it looks very easy to remove, too. Um, it's just tied in a knot here. And then they just thread it through this little handle. And the knot goes in that little hole. And then they just thread the rope through here 
and then after you thread it through it loops around and comes back out here and then they just tie another knot here so it's very easy to replace this cord you probably don't even need to get the swift net specific cord you can probably use any any really tough cord um, but you want to make sure it's uh, nice and tough so maybe I shouldn't recommend doing that because somebody will probably get some cheapy cable or cheapy rope and then it's gonna snap while they're playing <laughs> and the rod is probably gonna go flying so probably buy this stuff or if you can find the same type of cord you can do that but yeah you don't want to just use some random cord there and then end up killing yourself trying to save a few dollars all right so anyways we're gonna put this back so I'm going to wrap that like this. This net is pretty long. Well, I mean, it's the length of the normal nets. So, but I mean, for the area I'm working in, in this room to try and like record what I'm doing, it's kind of tough. So I'm going to try and roll this up. And you want to make sure also when you roll it up and then try and set it up that this thing isn't twisted. Another thing they also uh, mention is when you pull the rope cord, make sure that um, this this is a split ring. So they actually um, have this where it connects and it's a little bit sharp here. So they say to make sure that the ring is actually um, going sideways. This cut split is going to the sides. So that way the rope is only going around these areas, not going over this sharp area. Okay, so you want to check that when you're tightening it as well, though probably most people won't pay attention. Um, they probably should just wrap something over here, I don't know. But um, I guess it's hard to find something to wrap there. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Let's actually go over the boom thing. I'm going to roll this up for now, and I'll put it away. So, I mean, you know how to roll up a net. Uh, but I'll show it later when I go to set it up and put it away on a sunnier day. All right, so I'm gonna roll this up uh, uh, off camera and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention, um, this center thing is actually Velcro and it's there so that you can actually adjust the exact height. I think it's 34 inches in the center and 36 inches on the outside, does it say? Um, 36 yeah so 35 inches from the ground on the center and then 36 inches on the outside so this allows you to I guess you can put in the zipper bag and measuring tape or something if you wanted to have it exact to spec like height and everything for tournament kind of thing um, or official pickleball playing but they have this velcro here so that you can undo this and then you wrap this you can uh, pull it tighter or shorter and you can adjust that to wrap around the center of the boom or the rod or whatever you want to call it and that way you can adjust the height to be exactly the height um, for official playing all right so rolling it up I don't know if it works so well because everything bunches up this way at the top of the net um, so I'm probably gonna do the fan folding method that they were saying I'll try and figure it out But I think you kind of like just layer it like um, back and forth like folding like those fans that you fold and Yeah, those paper fans. But anyways, we'll set that aside And then let's go ahead and open the boom. I'm not gonna be able to um, assemble this in here because of the lack of room um, but I kind of just want to open this up and then kind of show what it looks like. Um, this one is actually held in place with um, a zip tie. So again, like I said before, I kind of like preserving the packaging. I don't know, in case I want to return it or something. So I like to use like a needle or a small flathead to remove these kinds of things. So I just flip that little um, teeth latch thing out of the way. I don't know if I'll be able to show this on camera. Um, okay. But basically, if you know how these things work, it has a little latch that when you pull it through, it kind of lets that go over the teeth. And that's how it comes out. I might have to do this off camera because it's just going to take a lot of time. And. Alright. Yep. I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Alright, see you guys in a bit. 
Alright, so I got the screwdriver in there, and now we should be able to just slide that out. Alright, there we go. Set that aside. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this stuff all out of the bag. Let's zoom out so you guys can see. Alright, so if you've ever gone camping and set up a tent where you have to kind of assemble those poles, that's basically how this works. It's kind of cool, so let me see if I can give you guys a close-up of how they look. You can see. Alright, so the ends are rounded like this. Alright. I'll probably assemble one section just to show you guys. Um, oh, this doesn't look good. So this is kind of fraying off. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be okay. That stuff was kind of fraying off. Oops, I don't know if I got that in camera. I don't know if that was tape or if it's actually peeling off. So they wrap something is, I guess they wrapped like a clear coat around it. Okay. So anyways, this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to do one section. So as you rotate it over, there's a stretchy cord inside. Okay. And the stretchy cord allows you to basically just line it up and it snaps into place just like that. So it's very nice, very easy to do. All right, again, I can't do this in here because there's no room to do it. So I'm just gonna put it back in the bag for now. And yeah, all right, so I'm gonna now bag everything back up and I'll show that process, all right? I'm gonna have put the camera higher up so you guys can see the whole thing. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. So first thing they said to do after you release the tension, well, I'm gonna show how to do that later, but uh, after you release the tension, you wanna undo the Velcro and remove this little A piece, all right? After you remove that, they always refer to this as the A piece because it's shaped like an A. Um, then you're gonna get this zippered pouch piece and put that in there. All right, if you want, you can put all the other stuff in there. I don't know if I'll ever use these bigger feet, but if you want, you can throw them in there as well. You can probably also keep that Allen wrench in there as well. Um, I'm probably gonna also keep that in there so I can make sure it's the proper height. Okay, I'm gonna zip this up. Might wanna be careful because this might scratch the thing. So get that, zipper that up. Okay, then it says to put these posts at the bottom, the boom at the bottom. Right, so just get that in there. If you want, you can kind of lay them more flat out, I guess. Um, though, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so get that in there. Then you get the net. Throw that on top. Okay. Right. Then we're going to get the feet, and here you see there's these Velcro. They said you can use that to help hold it in place, though I'm not exactly sure how to do that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, this, you'll have to probably have it face up, because if you put it the other way, it will probably damage things. So, I don't know if you Velcro everything or just the legs. So... I don't know, because you'll have this like that, see, and then they're going to hit each other. So, I'm probably going to put one leg on each side. I guess if you do it the other way, you'd probably want the Velcro underneath first. I guess I'll just do it underneath the net. Again, this is my first time kind of just opening this up and figuring it out, so I'm going to just... We'll experiment and see what works best, but uh, get that under there. Let's see if we can get this other foot over here. Will that work? So that way the net is kind of in the middle here, like this. Alright, and then we can probably get the Velcro here and strap it together. I guess you want to strap everything because the Velcro doesn't even reach that far. <laughs> So, okay, let's take this back out. Take this back out, take that back out. All right, so I guess if you do it, the best way is probably you put that at the bottom. So we'll get this back out. Get that underneath, get that underneath. All right, so we'll get the Velcro straps completely underneath here. Okay. 
that. Then we'll get the net on top. In the future, I'll probably do it the other way so the net kind of covers everything a little bit better. But uh, for now, this is how I'll do it. Okay, we'll get this over here. All right, we'll get the other foot over here. like that so we have both of these posts I don't know if it matters but we'll probably have it facing this way so that there's no sharp points uh, pointing at the bag all right and let's see if we can actually reach it okay so now we're gonna wrap this over here just like that and same thing with this side Grab that over here uh oh this <laughs> This side is much bigger, so I don't know. Let me undo that Velcro and we'll do this side first. Get it like that. And then this side and we'll just Velcro it like that. Will that fit? Will that fit? Okay, that, that all fits in the bag. And it holds everything steady. So that should be good. All right, there we go. Again, you don't have to put the Velcro, it just, it just kind of keeps everything from rattling around. So here you can see, now it's good, there's no shaking, rattling sounds, everything is held together tight. And then I can just put it over my shoulder, like that, and it, oops, and it's good to go. One of the straps slipped off my shoulder. <laughs> but there you go, and then you can hold the bag like that next to you. Alright, there you go. So. I'll see you guys later when it's a sunny day, and I'll set up the net, and we'll see you that. Alright, bye.